afternoon all good afternoon sir okay let's start the class hope my screen is visible now so in today's topic uh, we are going to see about object detection okay object detection using the open cv library okay so introduction to computer vision means uh, here computer vision uh, represent an algorithm which is used by the machine to understand the information about a image or a video okay that is called computer vision so first uh, in the 1950 itself uh, they have started uh, the experimentation on machine that whether it can able to identify the objects different objects or not like whether it can differentiate a circle and square everything they have experimented long time before itself and as i told open cv is the uh, interdisciplinary scientific field whereas uh, it helps us to gain more information from the image or the video for the machine okay so here directly image will be converted into uh, we all know right in numerical format then it will try to process it and it will understand okay what type of image it is how to classify the image everything will be taken care of this uh, computer vision concept okay so there is a difference between image processing and then uh, computer vision so image processing means generally we will have one image okay we will do some changes like uh, increasing the sharpness uh, changing the color filter lot of things we will do right that is basic image processing that any algorithm or uh, uh, any other machine learning or ai is not taking place right so that is image processing whereas when you are processing an image to a machine and it is trying to understand what type of image it is based on either it is a supervised or unsupervised learning it is predicting something right so uh, that is called uh, computer vision okay so similar to human uh, it is like having a, a machine having a human eye okay so evaluation means initially how they have started with the, this machine learning concept so first they used for image seg segmentation like whether it is a you know shape they are try to find whether it is can able to differentiate this shape or not then edge detection if i am showing one image means it should uh, point the coordinates of the particular object so then they tried that water marking water mark means each image some uh, water marking will be there right uh, this uh, image belongs to like that so that they try to implement in the image concept and then stenography uh, script uh, and cryptography and all is it what they will do is they will try to uh, hide text inside an image that and all you might have also uh, known about this news and all like how to how they are hiding the text inside uh, the image and uh, using for terrorism purpose and all and later they have found out how to solve this by encrypting decrypting method so for that they have used and then moving object direction okay real time object is moving means it will try to uh, grab the information like uh, some projects like uh, uh, number play direction is there other things helmet wearing helmet or not whether uh, following the traffic rules or not wearing mask or uh, everything can be monitored like moving object so object detection fixed object is there means what type of object it is like that also you can detect and then autonomous vehicle okay nowadays it is one of the booming uh, uh, topic also and then satellite image analysis so satellite images size will be very high so and it is a little bit uh, difficult for a human to analyze the data okay so the for that reason we will go for the mission this concept and then uh, medical image analysis whether the, the particular person is having this disease or not so it can be predicted in a high accurate rate okay and ocr like reading the text okay that and all possible so in from this concept what are all the applications they have created like object recognition 
okay face recognition we can use it this face recognition nowadays you are using using for unlocking the mobile phone but uh, other purpose also is there right uh, for student registration you can use if you are interested in doing project related to open cv means uh, if they if they turn on the camera means it has to recognize the face and it has to put the attendance okay smart student attendance system like that also you can create and then autonomous vehicle this is direction okay if i'm passing some image okay uh, some scanned report or anything means i do, it should identify or plant some plant disease also you can identify by passing the image okay what type of uh, disease it is emotion detection so what we can do with emotion detection so if the person is sad or anything means um, you can if you are interested in you can connect with one music system or anything and you can change the particular person mindset or other thing is customer management system okay for that we can use if it is an automated call means based on the voice of the customer you can analyze okay the person is angry or very sad so that type of words they we have to use like that we can do and agriculture feed okay no man farm how many dollars is there right so for we can use and then satellite image analysis as we seen uh, search engine. how search engine uh, comes under this uh, image recognition is if you go for uh, google images means it, is, it will also an option to upload one image so based on that image it will uh, give you the results right so that tunnel comes under search engine concept and then mobile and camera so you are using google lens right uh, to extract the text from an image so all this comes under uh, this concept only okay so this comes under which topic sharmita it's, it's comes under uh, object detection uh, sharmita okay they have just mentioned it as object detection i have to use any library to do that right so i am using open cv library I think it comes under neural network, and then pattern recognition. Okay, so what are all the libraries we can use for object detection? So basic library means we can go for a psychic uh, image. Okay, so it includes uh, like color filtering, uh, feature detection, feature extraction, everything we have seen for text. Right? Similarly, we have for image as well, and then we have pile. Okay, uh, this type of library also you can uh, see along with the Open CV library. So here, you, I think you can see the Open CV. So along with this, you might have seen this uh, pile also. If you are such for any projects or anything, so this pile image will be very useful when you are dealing with uh, like large, um, uh, huge size of data or image. Okay, as I told, uh, if you take a satellite images and all, they will have some uh, higher. Uh, size will be there so processing will be uh, slow in other uh, libraries so that they will use pile library to process those data and you can also convert from one format to different format support also available okay and then we comes to the open cv now lot of projects are uh, created by open cv library only so it if you are planning means you can also take this library and work on it for di direction purpose Okay, mainly used for see real time computer vision they are using, and then uh, um, Magodas is there. So it is a little bit faster because uh, it is created with C plus plus, but it is not very famous, and compared to other uh, library. And then uh, SciPy is there, which is uh, general one, and then NumPy is there. Okay, all these are like uh, uh, comes for all the machine learning, artificial intelligence. Everywhere you will use these packages, okay, directly or indirectly. So, okay. Uh, in today's topic, uh, we will try to see about uh, how we can direct the moving object and all. Okay. So, basically, what uh, the camera will be fixed in one position. So, whatever inside the frame, this not going to move in case any changes happening in the frame means 
it will try to detect it okay or it will Uh, respond by uh, putting some message or in open uh, Python, okay, and then uh, you will be installing I uh, I am utils, okay. It is also some additional uh, benefits will be there, okay. We will not be using more the second one, but uh, it will be useful for Open CV, okay. In case if you are using 3.9 in Windows, okay. And if you are trying to install means some packages, okay, some libraries are, will not be working properly. Here they have mentioned like pillow does not it support uh, Python 3.9. Why? Because it is uh, Python is up, up, upgraded one, whereas other libraries may not be support for the newer uh, Python version. So in that case, you will get some error. Okay, in case if you are using in Windows, Ubuntu most probably will not give, get any error. Otherwise, you use the virtual environment as I told use 3.8 stable version always try to maintain with stable version okay because 3.9 10 and all will have lot of bugs okay when compared to other uh, versions okay and in case if you are using that and getting some error mint i have mentioned with some slides so what are the additional things you will be installing so if you are installing microsoft c plus uh, build tools means then if you are trying to install means some other packages will be installed properly okay all these are like additional things only okay so otherwise you can uh, go for uh, c make uh, okay uh, after doing that you can uh, try it means it will successfully install okay without throwing any error okay that is one way or else another thing you can use is uh, um, c make is there okay you can download it from uh, this particular website and if you should just install it and then if you have to try to install the package which you are trying like open cv iphone python if you give means it will properly get installed otherwise go for the stable python version okay see in 3.7 or 3.8 it will be installed without throwing any error okay okay so let us see some basic programs on computer vision okay um introduction but okay right uh, uh, okay the so first install the library i'm not going to install anything just giving it uh, for you pip install open cv python okay then you are going to import cv2 okay this is second version so we will mention it as cv2 so i have imported it then uh, let us see how we can uh, perform some basics operation so first thing what i am going to do is I will try to read, view, and save the image. Okay. Uh, so I already am. I have taken some images and I put it in my uh, folder. You can also take any images. Okay, that is not an issue. So first, if you want to read an image like how we will uh, read a file by using open so similarly here we have cv2 dot i am read okay image read in short they are saying this i am read okay inside that you have to give the uh, file name okay so image image one is here i'm giving the image one okay so if i print the image means see what has happened here it is actually image only but it is stored in an array format okay so uh, that is what happened in the back end so whatever image you are passing it is divided into pixels right so each pixel will have some value so those value will be stored in the array format like a matrix of array okay a lot of uh, 
matrix are there here you are seeing the uh, simple version of it okay then if i want to uh, see the image okay view the image in that case what i will do is if you want to view means or show so for that cv2 dot image show okay you will give it as image show here the two we will pass two argument the first one is just name of our frame okay it will give you one frame inside that the image is going to come here you can give anything okay just going to be the name and then what image you are going to see so i am going to see this particular image okay let us run this wait sorry some i think my screen is visible I'll, i don't know what happened wait see here i gave image red that is the name of my frame i don't know why it is not responding in case if you are going to do project uh, related to image detection and all means try to have some good hardware configuration okay because you will be dealing with real time object i mean direction and all so the processing speed is high only it can able to process it okay because video is nothing but uh, frames of images right so it should be capable for uh, handling those image capacities or otherwise i will give this image sorry why i don't know why it is throwing error but it will open okay uh, maybe you try it and check so what it will show an image yes what image you have kept here that will be shown here as it is in a, in some frame format Okay. Okay. So with the name given here. Okay. And then, ah, okay. Wait. Uh, and then, if you want to write the image, okay. For that, what we can do is write image means some image you have converted or anything, and then you want to store it in different format, okay, uh, or store, save in different format. for that you have to give us cv2 dot image right okay and in what name you are going to give for this image so i am giving like sample so in short give me png format i am saving and what i am going to say the image okay ah uh, wait ah uh, two more things also is there what is this cv2 dot okay weight key okay what this weight key will do is it will uh, retain the frame uh, without uh, getting disappear okay i think this is also with my create issue let me check and then finally we can give like destroy all windows so if you give uh, the close button click the close button means it will destroy everything so destroy all see here k should be caps weight key k should be caps okay and then in destroy all a and w should be caps okay uh, wait okay see now my image is showing okay maybe this is the issue i have done it i have i have given cv2 dot wait key maybe that is why it is creating some issue Okay, now my image is uh, you can able to see i guess correct so if i give uh, close button means so it will destroy it okay so why it is showing error means uh, because i'm try to force fully closing the window okay you can ignore this or wait did i made any mistake 
no okay similar way uh, then i will do this okay this is my image okay uh, i can give different image also okay see now it is properly visible okay okay here i am forcefully closing it right uh, in case i want to want the image to be closed within 5 minutes 5 seconds automatically uh, without me interrupting it in that case what i can do is i can give some value okay inside this wait key if i am giving 5000 means it will wait for 5 seconds and then the image will be it should be destroyed sir sir destroy spelling is wrong okay okay thank you ma'am okay now i think it will work okay thank you uh, so but uh, here i am manually closing the image right after 5 seconds automatically means you just can specify the value inside the wait key okay if i specify like 5000 means 5 seconds like that it will assume okay after five seconds it will automatically close see i didn't do anything it, will, it has been automatically closed so this is uh, one thing okay in case if you want to close it okay in case you want to view the image in the grayscale format we have learned right uh, why we are going for grayscale format because it will have only one channel whereas in uh, color images we will have three channels right uh, red green blue will be there primary colors will be there in case if you want to view the image in grayscale format means to convert it is not necessary every time you have to convert it into uh, grayscale format but if you are if you have seen i mean as per i have seen a lot of projects uh, from different sites what they are doing is to reduce the processing time okay if it is in color image means it will take some more time to process so they are doing some filtering kind of things to uh, change it into some different color format and then they are trying to predict the value for uh, example uh, sign language and all is there means uh, they are creating some rectangular area okay in that particular area if you are showing any image or your hand gesture means that will be converted into some uh, grayscale or uh, you know some sketchy image like that it will convert so from that it will try to uh, recognize what sign the person is showing okay that will work only in that particular area only okay if you are showing anywhere else uh, if you are showing the entire uh, face or anything also it will not detect only in that particular area alone it will detect that is one type of uh, problem another uh, how they are solving is uh, they are specifically taking the portion of uh, the body like uh, only hand has to be recognized there or only face has to be recognized like that also they will train the model okay so that it will create some uh, mapping on the face or a hand or entire body or anything like body movement you want to check that general possible so based on that they will train our model okay so here uh, to convert it cv2 dot uh, convert color is there so what you are going to convert the image and then cv2 dot here we are having lot of options for converting okay uh, so color all should be in caps okay see color underscore so we have options like bgr to gray okay for converting this color usually in normal term we will say rgb color okay uh, photoshop like that this there means we will say rgb color red green blue 
but here in open cv we are calling it as bgr okay only position changes but all remains the same okay so what i will do i will save the it does gray image okay so after uh, 5 seconds i will close it automatically so and then i will give just so all these two lines will be like mandatory lines okay so later on you will understand why so what is this 5000 Uh, five five thousand means uh, it is in nanoseconds. Uh, okay. Means one second. Okay. Okay. Uh, not nano. I think uh, microseconds, right? Uh, thousand microseconds is one second. Am I right? Uh, uh, that that calculation only. Okay. Thousand means one second. Like that, I assume. And then I can also check the shape as well. dot shape okay in what shape it is showing my image uh, why it is grey color did i made any okay sorry bgr2 okay in between two will come bgr2 grey okay so now if you see means same image i am getting it in grey format so after 5 second automatically it has been closed okay so this is one thing another thing which we we can extract each color separately so i told right we are having three channel so we can separate the colors also separately like red color from the image i want to extract uh, blue color green color i want to extract means it will be in gray format but uh, what uh, it will be extracted the red means red portion will be highlighted with white and other portion will have some uh, scaling we have seen right 0 to 255 the numberings will be there so completely white layer it is coming means that is having the higher value okay completely black means it is having a very zero or less value okay that we will check so to extract okay so i will take different image this time okay cv2 dot here we have split method in uh, string right similarly here also if you give cv2 dot split means it will split it into blue green red format okay so i will show it okay b g r okay in this order only it will split and give it to you so i am storing them okay and then cv2 dot image show okay i can show all the images at once so first i will show the original image so original then red okay red means red portion will be like highlighted more red image okay so as i told last two lines are like mandatory one so cv2 dot wait key okay here i am not specifying anything because we have to see all the images right you can manually close it also okay 
so if you see means wait hope my uh, everything is visible okay milliseconds thank you so blue green and then red and this is my original image so why i have taken this particular image is so the colors are very much uh, highlighted here so if you go to the red image means see whichever area is having the red portion it is like uh, having like white color pure white color is there and i mean pure white means um, whichever color is highlighted that part will be like uh, white in color okay when compared to the other okay so here uh, if you see means blue image if you go means uh, that next to the nose part it is like white in color when you go for the green image means uh, green images are in the skin uh, what we hair areas right so that alone is like white color okay like this we can extract uh, different different color images okay even if you see the eyes also the color change you can see okay okay if you want means you can uh, increase any color value alone and you can create some new uh, image format also okay for example simply if i'm giving merge okay there is an option called merge cv2 dot merge here you can adjust the colors also so we got blue image right so i'm just adding some 100 to that value and then i'm giving some green and red as it is okay, you can add two three values here also and then i am trying to see that particular image means okay see now what happened here is my blue area has been highlighted a little bit uh, more when compared to other here so when i increase the value of blue it is converting to green color okay so like this we can do some uh, filtering also okay so if you want to know the uh, image properties like shape size and uh, data type we can also see them as well uh, for example image properties uh, simply okay already we have imported the image right so for that image i'm just checking the shape so where this shape and all will be useful is when you are specifying the value for frame okay uh, how much you want to capture at the time you, it will be useful for you okay, okay again what missing image is not defined okay in what name i image okay sorry i thought i have given img okay so our image shape is uh, 512 into 512 okay and then it is in three dimension and size if you see means like it is in some numbers and it is stored in uh, un, uh, unsigned integer okay so that is the data type format of our uh, image if you want means you can resize your image also okay by using dot resize uh, you can change the width so that uh, you will get some different size image okay if you want means you can do some blurring uh, effect also okay uh, that we will call it as uh, glacian blur okay or smoothening method okay so just uh, initially it will be like a little bit blurry format by increasing the value it will be more blur okay uh, simply here i will call that butterfly image i will uh, import okay you can also use a different image also i have different image. okay let us do with butterfly image so first uh, if you want me you can convert it into gray i'm not converting into gray let us do the glacian image okay cv2 dot 
circulation blur okay inside that i will pass my image so here i will specify okay how much value i want so by increasing and decreasing the value you will get some different changes okay here thickness and all it will be there and then i will store if i want means i will store the image as well so dot jpg okay now if i go and check my folder means this particular uh, image has been stored in my folder uh, see here it is stored see initially it was normal image right now it was a little bit blurry effect so like this also you can do like small small things i'm just showing for example and also you can create some threshold also in case if you are converting into grayscale i told right uh, when doing some project they are doing so it, they will try to increase the threshold so that they can uh, capture the uh, portion which they want like it will increase the uh, density and uh, you know if you are showing your hand means the edges of your hand will be like in darker shape when compared to other things in this way your image can be learned by our model okay based on how you are giving the training okay so that we will call it as threshold value so that i'm just saying uh, okay so up to this we have seen with images right uh, like i have already i have one images from internet i have taken you you can also take it and you can do all this process but if you are planning to do with some webcam okay live image you are wanted to extract or convert into video or anything means then we will go for video capturing uh, method okay for that okay i will give it as okay now i am going to capture one uh, image so open cv2 dot you have to give like video capture here v and c are caps okay uh, here we, i will be specifying it as zero okay because my primary camera is zero okay uh, in your case okay if you don't have webcam in your uh, laptop uh, or in, in your system and you want to do it with different uh, webcam means here you, you will be specifying it as either 0 1 or 2 in some cases it will be minus 1 so when you are trying only you will know okay which uh, number you were uh, camera got okay so that i will mention also um you have to specify the camera number okay we will not know it uh, actually i don't know how to find directly what will be the number of your camera but you can uh, mostly it will be 0 1 2 in some cases it will be in minus one okay so up by using that you can it can't able to direct means it will throw an error like uh, none type uh, null type like that uh, it will throw some error okay none none type it will throw so that you can understand this is not the number which it is expecting okay and then if i give image dot read means it will return me two things so one will be my frame and then another one is called as check whether the image has been captured or not so for that i have to store it in two different variable so since i am not going to use the first value i will give it as underscore okay and in the second one i will give it as frame right the frame variable only we are going to do use further so then cv2 dot image show so what is going to be my image okay my image like that i am giving and then i am passing the frame okay if i give cv2 dot wait key let us see here one more thing what we have to do is we have to um, what we will use usually cv2 dot destroy all windows right before destroying the uh, windows we have to specify it like image dot release 
so what this will do is once you have closed your uh, that webcam uh, which is popping up then only it will store the image into your folder okay up to that it will be in some catchy only so i will do that cv2 dot destroy all windows wait i will show the folder also so that you will understand so in my folder i think it is visible also i am having this images and all right so after running this particular line okay uh, i haven't stored it i'm just showing it okay i am sure only i have given i will give you i am right so first let us see it how it is coming it will take some time to detect my webcam and then to turn on my camera okay okay so actually my camera has been turned on okay i think you can able to see so i have closed it so now if i go and check my folder means nothing would have been stored because i didn't give i am right right so for that what we can do is um before closing the i am image dot release we can we have to store it okay so cv2 dot i am right and then in what format you are going to save it so all this will be useful when you are uh, creating your uh, data set from the scratch okay i uh, want to give some custom signs and all means you will be doing like this only okay each time you will uh, write some code to detect your uh, sign okay that's all okay so it has opened i'm just closing it and then if i go and check here means see my image one the name which i gave okay and then just stored the image okay so i don't need this image so i will delete it so if i do like this means uh, one by one it, how long it will take uh, i cannot create some data set right i need 100 sometimes 1000 uh, images to process my data in that case i cannot go for one, each time i will run again and again means it will take lot of time so what we can do is we can put it in a loop and then until i press some button okay it will continuously taking uh, photos and then it will be storing into my uh, disk okay for that what we can do we can create some while loop right uh, so separately i will write that so to take picks continuously until until we press okay until we press some button is okay so here what i will do i will use uh, time time library also because we need to set some timer right uh, each time it has to iterate it so i will import the time okay and then i will get the image from my webcam k0 and then uh, i will okay give some count also so why i am giving count here is i want to store multiple image right okay first uh, so it will be storing in the same image uh, i mean same name only so it will overwrite my old images okay to avoid that only i i have to store it in different names right uh, so that is why i am giving this count okay otherwise i will comment it now so for your understanding then you will understand why we need of the count so i will put as while true okay so as i told we will get two values right 
check and frame so i can give it as underscore also and frame so image dot read and then i will be showing my i will be showing my image cv2 dot If you give this line only, you can able to see your webcam. Otherwise, it will automatically capturing your images in backend until you stop this particular line. Okay. I have to set some timer. I mean, uh, set some condition to break out of this loop, right? Because I have given like while true. So for that, what I will do? If cv2 dot wait key is there. Okay. Wait key. Equal to equal to. So far, I'm going to give like Q Q for quit. Okay. So I will convert it into number format. So whenever I press the Q only, my uh, capturing will stop. Okay. Then break. Okay. And then finally, after if not, I'm giving the Q value means it has to store my image, right? So CV two dot image right my image okay my image dot jpg i am giving and then i am passing the frame so as i told we have to give the image dot release and then cv2 dot destroy all windows okay so if i run this means okay see each time i try to close it okay it is capturing one image and it is storing it in the same name itself okay uh, you can able to see this see i'm giving the close button okay otherwise i will just move my see uh, it will try to update it okay since i have gave only one name see uh, now if i open the image means see it is coming coming like this okay like that it will be overwritten so to avoid that only what i have to do is i have given q so it, my program has been stopped okay and for that only i will what i'm doing i'm using the count option okay so i'm given here i have given the count is equal to zero i have to increase the count right so count plus equal to one and then i will add it here also so my image I will close this plus string of okay because it is in number format so string of count plus the dot jpg okay now what will happen let's see now if i run this means See now, whenever I am trying to close it, okay, it is capturing on new image, and then it is adding, okay. Likewise, you can capture, okay. How many images you want, you can capture. So I am just cl closing it by giving Q. Okay, this is one way of doing it. Okay, uh, I don't need these images understood here i did use the time concept right 
so why because i mean uh, when we will be using this time concept is if you want to create some delay in your capturing ah wait if you have seen one thing uh, i will run this again whether you have noticed anything or not you say here if you have clearly noticed means the popping up window is coming right uh, it is also looking like image only right it is not like a video or how you will see in the camera even if i move the uh, camera here and there also you will not see any movement like how we will see in the normal camera right why because i will say why here i have mentioned only cv2.wait key right here i should mention it as one if i give it as one means it will create in a video format okay now if i rerun this particular line means now you will see like uh, you are seeing a turned on a camera means how you will see a image uh, will you will see similar way you can see see i didn't do anything because now it it is in a motion uh, format okay previously it was in picture so whenever i try to close it it has created me one image but now it is in, like moving object type so now see automatically like within 2 3 seconds uh, it has taken two uh, like 289 images so but this is also too much right uh, it should not be this much fast it should have some time interval for that only we are going for the time library okay for every 2 seconds okay give me some time to change the position of the my image which i am trying to capture okay data set if you are creating means you have to give it in different shapes right you will not show it in the same format even uh, you, everyone might have uh, done this uh, when you are doing the fingerprint means you will do right uh, in whatever possible way you can keep your hand you will try to keep to make that particular our mobile phone to understand our pattern uh, fingerprint pattern right uh, so similar concept only i will slow down the capturing speed by adding some time interval like 2 seconds wait 5 uh, seconds wait so that i will get some time to change my position then then you capture the image so like that so like that we can do okay so for that what we have to do so i have imported the time module right so simply here i will go and then i will give like time dot sleep so like 2 seconds i want sleep here we have to give it like 1 2 3 means 1 means 1 second 2 means 2 second okay not like 1000 uh, okay that difference here it is different okay so now uh, one more thing you can also print the frame count also okay Uh, why i'm doing this is frame dot shape uh, just to know that it is capturing or not so we will get some time okay to move the position okay um, why you are seeing the lag is because of the processing okay it, it should be like normal camera pixel if you are having good processing speed okay otherwise because of this lag only our accuracy will also get reduced okay because the user will not wait uh, until it captures Uh, it has to be captured immediately right so in that case you should have some good hardware capacity also mm. here why i told you to uh, print the frame dot shape means here in which uh, shape it is storing we should know okay and when you are specifying okay video capturing or any time this number will be useful okay when you are specifying for video capturing means you should 
this way in the reverse format okay here 480 comma 640 is the right when you are specifying you should specify it as 640 comma 480 okay that you will know uh, when i do the video capturing method so for that uh, there is one website so first we have seen about images right up to this uh, understood so first we have taken one image and we try to uh, save the image view the image or uh, read in uh, array format we have seen and then how we will convert it into grayscale we have seen and how to split uh, okay three colors three three channels separately we have seen and then what are the properties are there how to blur the image all this we have seen and how to capture from your webcam okay that we have seen and then how to uh, capture image continuously and by giving some time interval we have seen okay similar way we are going to see how to create a video because video is nothing but frames of images only right so based on the image it will create one video for us so for that uh, some formats are there uh, to know that format uh, any doubt needs put it in chat also i will uh, read it for so for that one website uh, i think uh, okay 4c.org slash codes okay sorry okay uh, sorry that website is not working i guess okay um, nothing but they will have some file format for this particular uh, open cv okay different different file format is there so i will be using one of them to show you how what are all the other format is there i tried otherwise i will uh, before uploading this uh, notebook i will check that particular website and uh, add it here okay so if you want to create some video out of the images to create a video so all these are like separate separate program that's why i am writing from the beginning okay so here as i told there will be having some code okay we call it as 4c code okay equal to cv2 dot okay someone has message i guess sir i am unable to install open cv in jupyter uh, what command do you i mean what uh, you gave you are unable which version of python you are having first you specify that okay um, here cv2 dot video sorry video writer underscore 4c here we will be specifying the format code okay star okay anything can be there and then you have to specify as in all caps x b i d okay this is going to be our uh, like one code will be generated okay uh, i will show this will generate one code for you if i try to print that code means See, this is the code which has been generated by our this line okay so based on this what we will do is we will record our video so video is going to be cv2 dot video writer okay video writer inside that you will give the file name of your video Okay, I'm giving it as my video dot 
AVI format. Okay, I'm using in Windows, so AVI will open in Windows. If you are using it in Ubuntu also, you will have VLC player. If by default is not there, means you can install also. Okay, so from that you can open and check your uh, video. Okay, once it has been uh, recorded, and then for C code, so code is important, and then how many frames per second you are going to give. Okay, uh, otherwise. Uh, syntax if you want to know means like this is the video name and then the extension you have to provide and then the code okay for the code we have to give and then frames per second okay how many frames per second you are going to record in your model okay and then your pixel size that has to be specific here i will uh, give it as 20 frames per second okay you can give it as different frames also and here you have to specify as i told like why I told this number should be taken care of is here you will be specifying this number. Okay, uh, from turning on the camera, we came to know that uh, our camera format is this. Okay, 640 into 480. Okay, like that you have to assume. So that should be specified here. So first 640 should come and 480 should come. In case if you are using different uh, web camera, as I told, you should note this particular number which I was showing it for you. Uh, 3.6.9 means uh, check uh, Yogesh whether uh, Yogesh and Roja whether that is having uh, OpenCV second version support or not. I think it is older Python version, so it may not have newer uh, Python. I mean OpenCV version. It may be having older OpenCV version. So better as I told you create one virtual environment with a uh, 3.8, okay, which can support all the libraries which you are studying from now i mean previously whatever we are studying okay um like previous one week class if you take means mostly that will one run in 3.8 properly whereas in 3.9 it will create some error okay depend upon uh, how it is has been updated okay uh, okay let's back to the Topic. So here I have specified 614, comma 480. Okay, and then I will do the same thing. So same steps only going to come here. So I will just copy paste it. Okay. Only one thing I'm going to add is uh, actually two things. Here I have to add the video dot write. Okay, here I'm going to write the video. Okay, so for that I will give video dot write. Okay, what I'm going to write? I'm going to write my frames. Okay, and then um, I'm not going to store anything, so I will remove all these things. Uh, if you want me, you can see the frames. Otherwise, this lines no need. Count also no need. Okay, just uh, I'm reading my image and storing it in the frame, and the frames will be written into my video format. Okay, and then I will see my image. Okay, the frame will come here. So when I press Q, means it will stop recording. Okay, and then here I have to give it as. Um, wait, uh, I think I made some mistake. Uh, okay, wait, I don't need this. This and this. Okay, let us check. Otherwise, we will solve the error. I am also facing same issue while installing set. Okay, everyone check your uh, Python version, please. Are you giving it properly? Pip space install space open CV hyphen Python. If you are using it in Windows, means I will send you the PPT. Okay, there will be mentioned some uh, softwares that should be additionally installed if you are getting error. Okay, in Jupyter Notebook, you are getting error, uh, Ramakrishna. Uh, in, like in Windows or Ubuntu? 
okay after completing the class i will uh, check your jupyter notebook okay 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 uh, let us see how it is coming okay so here what happening is uh free i mean image by image it is trying to capture okay and it is trying to convert it into video format so if you see here means my underscore video is coming here right uh, so likewise it is uh trying to capture so let's see uh, if i give q wait it is not responding okay um now my video has been created see my underscore video has been created and this is nothing but the last frame okay so you can ignore that also so i'm opening with you can use films and tv as, as open we'll see see you can see the video recording right so whatever movements i have done so everything has been recorded as a video okay uh one more thing if you want to use mobile webcam okay uh, mobile camera instead of uh, webcam if you don't have means for that you have to install a uh, ip webcam app in play store okay it will be available in google play store so you have to install that okay uh, sorry here video dot okay sorry see i didn't give this properly uh, video dot release okay see because i am using video also image also that's why i am giving video dot release image dot release that's why i got uh, not responding error okay now it has been solved okay ah uh, back to the topic means if you are want to use the mobile camera means uh, i have i haven't checked it properly but if you want means you try so there will be one ip webcam uh, uh, app will be there in google play store okay once you have installed means it will generate one ip for you okay that ip should be come here okay instead of specifying zero and all you have to give that complete ip address uh, it will be example or else i will here put here if using a mobile camera install ip webcam App from Play Store, and then um, use the IP. Where you have to specify is here. You have to specify in this particular line. Just I will. So instead of placing it as zero. it will be in some uh, http or https format okay so and then 192.168 ah uh, one more thing you have to notice both if you are connecting with laptop system and then mobile phone or anything means it should be in the same network okay uh, either you have connect, you should be connected with the hotspot or in a same router okay then only it will be possible like local connection it is giving okay so some uh, ip it will show okay local ip like 80 80 like that it will show and then video okay uh, it changes depend upon uh, what ip it has created for you okay here one more thing you have to notice is the frame this particular thing if you gave wrong number or if you interchange the number means it will create my underscore video but if you play try to play the video means 
there will be nothing inside the video okay it will not store any image inside the video okay you cannot see a video so this particular thing also important okay i think uh, for mobile phone usually uh, general uh, sizes uh, 1080 okay 920 okay you try this and check okay this should come where in this particular line okay otherwise i will copy this line also understood One nine two zero. Like if for you changing means you can check it. Okay, before uh, doing this particular code, you can do this code and check. Okay, what is my uh, size uh, shape? Sorry, shape of my mobile. Then you can specify it here, and then you can run this program and then check whether it is showing your webcam or not. Okay. Okay. So let us go, go for the act bigger program. So the our main aim is to direct the object, right? So object recognition, object direction is in our syllabus, right? So based on that, we will try to create one program. Okay. And then uh, based on that program and previously previous program, you try to create uh, one more thing. Okay. So freshly, I will type everything. So object direction or else moving object direction using open cv okay so in Jup from Jupyter Notebook also you can run or you can run it from the IDLE as well. Okay, there is no any issue. If you are running it in IDLE means you will be saving it in .py format. So here you are using it in uh, like Jupyter format. That is the different. Okay. So I will write the complete program so that you can separately, uh, you know, take this particular program and also you can run and check whether it is working or not for you. Okay, import model and one more thing I'm importing for date and time. Okay, why you will see. Okay, so your camera, okay, CV2 dot video capture zero. So I'm giving less time sleep. Okay, for every one second, it will take one break like that. And then I'm giving first to frame. Okay, initial frame I'm keeping it as null. Okay, sorry, none. Uh, null means like it will be empty initially. And then I'm specifying the area of my uh, frame. Okay, and then uh, while so it will be going to run continuously until it uh, reaches some condition. Okay, so. All these lines we have seen just now only, so I'm just typing as it is cam dot read. Okay, one. So here, what I will do, I will give text is equal to normal. So basically, what this program in a nutshell means, uh, our camera will be recording. Okay, uh, some or particular location. If any object movement is, has been detected, means it will uh, show highlighted and show. Okay, otherwise it will show it as normal. When uh, any movement uh, it has facing means it will uh, change its color uh, border color and it, it will show um, movement detected like that it will show and I have used date time method to specify the time in which particular time the movement has been detected. Okay, uh, it's like kind of security camera motion detection like that you can say. So by default it will be in normal mode, right? No any activities will happen. So and then here I'm using the immutable types. Okay, dot resize. So why I do re resize? I'm trying to make the image in some format. So resize the format is with 
500. So this is what I have told. If you want means you can change the image size by using this resize resize method. And then I will convert them into gray format because to make it processing faster. Okay. But when storing it will be in color only, but for processing purpose, I'm just converting it. Okay. All caps color underscore BGR two. Okay. Uh, and then gray. And then what we have seen, we have seen a glacian image, right? So that also I will do initially like blurry image. It will start start with blurry image so glacian image so here i will pass my grayscale image okay and same 21 by 21 i am giving so little bit blurry it will be okay not too blurry and then if my initial frame is empty okay which is none so i have mentioned it as none only right so it will run for one time afterwards when second third frames comes means this particular line will not come okay so frame is none okay first to frame otherwise it will be in black color okay because no image has been registered first time right so for that what we are doing we are creating one frame and then we are converting that frame into like blur image and then we are storing it into first frame so it is like when you are turning on it will be like blur and then focus will come right uh, similar way it will look uh, some blurred and then focus came like that so for that purpose only we are giving this line okay glacier image and then i will give continue okay then after this line again this will start second frame will come so it will skip this particular portion and it will move here okay so image difference you have to find the difference right the previous image and the new image then only we can say some movement has been happened right so for that i will give cv2 dot absolute difference okay it is an inbuilt function only okay first frame and then glacier image okay some blurry image so each time it will generate a new new blurry image okay both will be compared with each other and then i'm checking the threshold also okay all this i have just uh, told uh, orally i'm just typing it as code so image difference it will check and then uh, frame size color and then cv2 dot for threshold thresh binary we are going to keep so again this also should be in capital format okay thresh binary here again it will return two things okay and we need the uh, first index value okay not the uh, zeroth index so i will give it as one okay uh, since it is going to return two things i want only the threshold image only so i will give it as uh, one index value as one and then in threshold value i will do the delegate method okay sorry small so it will try to uh, uh, what to say neutralize my value okay just in output you will understand even more better uh, so threshold image so i'm initially i'm giving none okay how many iteration i will take is two iteration okay you can increase or decrease depend upon us okay and then i will count so how many counts i'm taking so for that cv2 dot fine okay count count us so i will take one copy of my image uh, and then i will do some approximate uh, calculation okay all this are available in inbuilt in open cv okay we just have to call that uh, method alone 
you don't need to do anything uh, more than that so threshold image dot copy okay first uh, parameter and then cv2 dot cv2 dot uh, ex external okay we'll drive external okay because that's my external camera and then cv2 dot chain approximate simple is there uh, yes see chain approximate and simple and other things are there we are going to use approximate simple method okay and then we will try to uh, uh, we will try to grab the image using immutals so counts is equal to sorry sorry uh, counts equal to it was a grab image okay grab counts and then i will pass the counts okay now if i uh, okay um, i can't run in the in, in the middle so i will complete the program and i will show it to you okay for c in okay counts so what we are doing we are taking each frames okay one by one and then i am checking it with my counter area okay see i have counter area so first frame i'm taking like that assume whether it is less than the given area or not so what is our area value 500 right so whether it is less than or not we will check if it is less than means i will give continue okay i will not proceed with it in case if it is not uh, uh, less than 500 okay it is greater than 500 means then i will try to check the axis okay x y and width and height i will check okay for that cv2 so i am creating the boundary okay uh, like where this particular image has been uh, directed okay in the entire frame one particular portion has been only movement has happened right so that has to be directed separately so based on x y axis and then width and height okay it will uh, create one border rectangle border to our uh, motion object which it is making the motion okay so bounding rectangle okay i'm creating a rectangle for that particular image for that uh, object you can say so for that rectangle what are all the properties i'm going to give you first image i will pass and then x and y value i will pass so that it will create one frame okay and then along with that I will add x with width. Okay, I have to increase, create one rectangular box right. So for that, x plus w, and then y plus h. Okay, and then color. What color you want to give? So here I am going to specify with red color. Okay, so I will give red as 255 and other colors as zero. Okay, and then thickness is two. Okay, the border thickness will be two, and then I will change my text value to uh, moving object directed so moving object okay so what i can do is directly i can uh, print it and uh, see also otherwise uh, if i leave at as it is means what type of output you will get is it will constantly it will be printing normal 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 only when one uh, motion direction has been occurred then only it will uh, change it into motion i mean moving object directly like that so we don't want to print normal right uh, so we want only if any motion has been directed okay uh, then what we can do is we can create one fun uh, condition okay if text is not equal to normal okay that alone i want to capture so if not equal to normal okay i will store the time okay what time the motion has been detected that i should know right so daytime dot now okay from the daytime property i'm giving the now and then what is my current time okay now dot uh, this format is i want to print it in hours minutes and second format if i give directly means uh, it will be printing in some different uh, format so that's why i'm specifying this particular line okay inside that i am giving like percentage h 
okay here it will show what is the hour and m what is the minute and then yes okay this is the format i am going to print and then finally i will print the text so motion directed means it will say motion directed at what time it is directed so current time okay and then finally we have to okay everything should be inside the while loop only okay so here also i'm giving while loop only so cv2 dot put text okay what this will do is in the frame uh, in the top it will put okay normal or motion director uh, sorry moving object director everything will be written on the frame okay for that only we are giving this put text option okay so image so what is the text to be specified and then size okay uh, x and y axis and then font uh, everything can be given as default values like cv2 dot uh, it will have some font uh, okay so font a uh, lot of fonts are there i will go for simple simplex font okay you can try with different options also up to you okay and then uh, i'm specifying the color here so 255 and then here thickness okay so cv2 dot image show sorry uh, image show uh, camera feed so whatever feeding in my camera uh, finally i will show my image so after some point of time i should stop right uh, i have to give a cue or anything uh, to quit my uh, operation to stop right uh, so for that i will give it as if uh, wait okay cv2 dot So this we have already used right so the one i have to specify equal to equal to order of q so when i give q means it will stop so break out of my loop okay finally i have to stop the camera and then I have to close all the window okay so let us run this and check okay hope it will not create any error Okay, some error has created. Let me check. Image is not a number array, neither a scalar. Um. okay sorry i found it so here i have to specify this function okay uh this i think now it will work let us check Hmm. Okay, why it is showing us moving object director? So if you see here means it is in normal. Okay, because of light bringing also some uh, changes will be there. See, if I try to 
uh, insert some images. Okay, it is trying to frame everything. Need to some give some proper uh, training. See if you see the red coding means it is showing like moving object detected, right? So if I remove the pen means it is showing like normal. So again, if I'm placing the pen means uh, actually it is trying to capture everything. Okay, but the main concept is whichever object is moving that alone it has to be uh, frame. Okay, with green color. Okay, right now it is not detecting. Okay, like this way we can create some moving object detection. Okay, we can also check the time also which time this particular uh, event has been occurred. Okay, so understood. So when I give Q means it will stop. Okay, whether you are understanding. Okay, based on this, what you can do, uh, you can also uh, record. Uh, previously, we have seen one code, right? Uh, how to create a video. So, whenever some motion has been detected, you can uh, store it as an image format. Okay, and then you can see it later. Okay, what time the incident has been happened. Okay, here I didn't use that particular code, but this is the code you know, right? So, simply you can pass this particular code into uh, this some condition okay inside the while loop again you are giving somewhere else means or uh, uh, inside this you are giving if text is not equal to normal then you are performing this particular operation means what it will do is whenever some object uh, movement has been direction motion has been directed it will try to record it okay and convert it into video format okay then later on we will come and check uh, how I mean whether any movement has been directed or not okay so hope you all understood the concept uh, maybe it will be useful if you are doing any project related to this type of uh, detection or anything okay i think some of you are doing a traffic light i guess so for that also you can like this way only the car will be in the moving position right so it has to capture whatever it is seeing so it has to capture where the traffic signal is there sorry sign is there everything it has to capture and it is has to convert it into text format and it has to understand what is the symbol means and based on that it has to perform some operation so like this way only it will try to learn okay from the moving images so okay someone has message wait explain it one more time sir okay so only that uh, this moving object detection using uh, open cv only right see basically i have imported four things okay cv2 our open cv model time okay and then immutals and then uh, date time for recording the time which time uh, the motion has been detected so i have captured it from my camera so it will give each second it will give some break okay initial frame i have given it as null no sorry none okay so initially nothing will be recorded right now only the, my camera is turning on like that assume and then i have specifically some area so how many how much area it is going to cover okay and then i have created on while loop so inside that i i will read the image okay and then I initialize i will initialize the text variable with normal okay normally no movement is there everything is fixed and in the inside the frame okay and then i will try to convert that frame into 500 width okay uh, and then i am converting into grayscale and uh, glacier blur method okay to uh, increase the process uh, if it is in one channel means easy to process okay that's why so and then if my first frame is none okay initially it is going to be none only so at the time what will happen my uh, glacier image will be passed to my first frame okay and then each time it will compare the uh, previous frame with the uh, new frame okay like that com when comparing only we can able to detect the changes right so based on the changes okay it will try to uh, mark the area where and all it is seeing the changes okay and then finally i will try to print it in uh, like which time okay uh, in, in which hour minute and second that particular motion has i mean a uh, movement has been directed like that i will print this is for our reference only like if you don't give this particular line also it's not an issue okay just to know okay movement moving object directed now we are seeing only moving object directed if i 
give didn't give any condition means it will continuously print normal 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 so no need of that right so that's why i have given some condition and then finally we are putting text into the frame okay normal means it, it will print like normal if movement directed means movement directed so whatever i have given here moving object like that it will show okay by default in camera feed is going on okay and then finally if i give q means it will uh, come out of my it will stop the camera okay so that's all hope you all understood